free will, I think this is where it's coming in. You're conflating free will and total power. And that's that's total power over all circumstances. And that's that's those are two different things. My example runs counter to the definition that Dave read. I acknowledge that. But I, I think the examples I prove disprove that definition. Yes, individuals, I'm making choices because that I think are going to help my my family thrive and help me thrive. Everyone has an ability within their circumstance, but they're limited by their circumstance. It doesn't mean, mean they can't exceed that. It just means not every it's not a blank slate where people are born born or you're creating a video game character. It's like, no, I want to be that character. Now I want to be that character. That doesn't exist in the world. That's all I'm saying. You're affected by your culture, your circumstance, what you're born into, which limits your free will. It's not a blank slate with an open open template. And um, I will leave it there and you guys can do closing thoughts and let's do feedback. And this is maybe this is why I'm on the heretic couch. And you this guys was can... more interesting than the Dionysus stuff. Well, we did both. <laughs> we did both. You're welcome. The world. <laughs> you got a two for you got two for one. Uh... Go ahead and comment and let me know how right I am. And if you don't. Just yeah, you have the free will to answer Zach's question. So people like Sam Harris, noted atheist, um, he doesn't think he thinks free will doesn't exist at all. From what I understand, I hope I'm not misrepresenting. He gets to him. say that out of free will. Um, but he brings up some of the points I bring up. I don't go as far as that. I just think people are limited by their what they're born into. That is a limiting factor on their free will. So, I think it's more I mean, of a challenge. That's more of a yes, challenge. And the natural world is a limiting factor on free will. And the fact that we don't we don't experience omnipotence is a limiting. I mean, they're technically yes. Thank you, Dave. I, they just come to my side. I think so. They agree. Thank no, you, Dave. No, I think the pen. I think the pandemic and the especially the first year of it was a perfect example of where people had free will. They could fight against it or not. And most people are like okay, what do I do? Yes, I'll go in my house and do nothing and put a mask on, take shots and kill myself in three years. But, you know, I will do that. So, and then there were the other people, like my family, who put up signs, told our kids, fight back, tell the teacher to screw off, fuck off. And we'll put up signs and tell teachers they're abusers and they mentally, emotionally, fit. they're just, they're bad people. And then you get calls from sheriffs, but that's the product of free will. And I love that. I think you're... You're making my argument because if you were born in the people's circumstances that still wear double masks in the car by themselves, you would be wearing a double mask in the car by yourself, or more likely to be. What because, are you talking about? Because you were born Maybe. in their circumstances, you received their information, you received different information, which is why you're the ma able so, to make the choices you're able to make. Yeah, but there's somebody in the com there in communist China many, many years ago, a student who stood in front of a tank at a free will I and know. never to be seen again. But they had the free will to do that. I, I'm not arguing against that. There That's are, free will. There, there are incredible born into the communist party of china there are incredible examples of nonconformist activity that are inspiring and, and unbelievably beautiful then nonconformity is how what human, free will is that's not how how humans are wired in in the they're heaven, wired like sheep yeah yeah but it's the fact that they they've chosen that free will has they chosen because they fear they don't know they're worried they don't they're know anxious. they're choosing the woman the, the woman that in the heaven's gate cult where they took the the uh, Rite Aid. That's a store. It wasn't Kool-Aid. It was Powerade. It wasn't Powerade. That didn't exist. Whatever the aid is they took when they killed themselves Lime to ascend to heaven. Limeade? Limeade. Okay. Thank you, Producer Dave. I don't You're know unfired. if that's true, but... <laughs> Thank you. They, there was one woman at the very end that's like, what the fuck are we doing? Mm -hmm. This is stupid. But these are, we're just grabbing anecdotes. She, so like, what if I grab the... I, I know what your point is. You may, it, 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 that's no, coming the, through, but so my dad went to college and his and his siblings didn't. So within their template of circumstances, like yes, there's difference. I'm not arguing I'm not saying everything is predetermined. No, no, no. But but the argument that you're based on your argument, you would say, hey, his circumstances determined where he's at because look at the rest of his family. No one's ever gone to college and and he broke out of that. He's there are countless stories of people who've who've done that, who've been able to achieve and get themselves out, None of, of, which out of their circumstances. I'm not arguing against that. And I never have been. And I think I've mentioned that multiple times. You, well, it's not either or. Maybe you're not saying it 
Yeah, but right, you're saying right if you, way. I'm not you're saying, saying if you were born to certain circumstances, yeah. you don't have free will because you were born into that's that. That's limiting. And so what I showed you was there are countless stories of those who are not limited by I've their circumstances. I've fucking already acknowledged that multiple times. But you keep coming back to it. Because I'm you just- You just told that to Jeff. I'm just saying, you can't just choose to be attracted to dudes. You're not wired that way. Rinse that's it. not about free will. I think definitionally it is. No, it's not. I get to make a decision. If I decide, if which if, just made my point. No, you get to make a decision. That's what free will is. So no, I, yeah. Are you now on both sides no, of the you're, argument? No, you're right. The, the problem is I'm. The, the problem is I'm addressing a complexity of life, where it's like you have Calvinists that think God determines everything. And they somehow try to massage it in a way that's like, yeah, you can still make decision. You have to make a decision for Christ, but ultimately God decides who's saved. I'm not that. And then you have the other people, you have the other side of the argument, which is like you have total, total free will. I'm just saying it's more complicated than that. And uh, I, lo I love this diversion. This has been... I realize you like to talk about the nuances of within whatever it might because be. Because there is nuances. Right. But when it comes to free will, free will is clear cut. Are you more... That doesn't exist. Are, are you, you more like... Are you serious? Likely, where were you born? If you were born in communist China, are you more likely to be stuck in communist China than become Jeff Pearson of today? Okay. More likely... Okay. Becoming a conservative American Republican and, be, and sticking with the communist party that you've been born into that's still because you have less free will than you think you do your free will is regardless, based on the template you're given. okay you don't have less free will if you have any free will you have free will to decide if free will is a salad buffet wait is this the old like maybe sin? now i'll understand it if free will is a, here's how i think about it if free will is a salad buffet um i may go and choose five of the ten ingredients on at the at the buffet because they're the closest to me. But there's a wall that cuts you off from the tomatoes. Will you go around it? Um, I just may not be aware of the other seven ingredients that are on there. It doesn't mean that had I have I if I peek around the corner and see that there's seven other ingredients that I couldn't have them. It's just that I have it's the circumstances around me that I decided to choose these. Some people will choose to go around the corner and look at those other seven ingredients and take part in them. This is still all free will. I feel like you're teaching me like Kamala. I'm trying. I'm. I'm trying to use an analogy to to get us <laughs> for a child. Like, well, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I want to know how mental illness no, keep, uh, works into this. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, Dave had something to say. Yeah, you have the free Shut will up. to be mentally ill. You have the free will to be fired. The point that I'm trying to make is, is just because I don't uh, have choose to take part in or have awareness of all the potential options on the table does not mean that I am limited. But if the potential exists, then it is not a limitation simply because I don't act on those or even become completely aware. None of us can be all can all be completely aware at any point in time of all the options on the table. But we could theoretically encounter any of them at any time. Right? Yeah. Which I guess which says that Maybe the only limitation is that we can't be omniscient, which is which is breaking the rules of reality, at least in my in my understanding of how reality works. And so the point is just because I don't take advantage of all the all the options that are on the table or even have knowledge or an awareness of all the options on the table does not mean that my free will is limited any more than I'm just a human and I can't do all the things all the time. I'm not a god. You're describing my position. You don't have access to all the options. Way to go, Andy. You you brought our vigorous conversation into an analytical thinking smart conversation. You, you don't have access to all the options. Hey, way to use your free will. But and that, even if you that, did... That you, should just be a, a given for if, anything, right? That's literally what I've been describing. <laughs> what? But no one... Why would anyone argue that we could be superheroes? I'm not arguing for that. I'm just... I know. So, so like th that's why I'm like this is like a table stakes part of the conversation. We should all accept that we have to live and exist in reality and the constraints of. And that. I feel like you guys haven't been accepting that. Yeah, but you're talking about a place. <laughs> you're no. talking about a place in like everybody has their place in life, and then they get to make decisions from there. I just, I just, you're saying yeah. this person they're not going to even see that side of it. And the, Andy's point is that. If just because you don't see it doesn't mean you don't have free will, you're still making free will in here. And you're like, well, you know, if you were born this way or, you know, you were 
uh, attracted to these people or you were born in this religion or this country, this culture, like you don't have free will. You do have free will because it's based off having, making your own personal choice. Which way will you go? I'll, A or I'll, B? I'll agree on the limitations as all humans have limitations. I'll agree on that. <laughs> like, thank you. Um, no, I mean, that's... Uh, so the, I, I'm just, do people have biases? That, that limit their ability to make logical decisions. Yeah, and can you learn and change? Yes, you can. Yeah. So can, yeah. so can biases be broken? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you have choice in the world. Yeah. Yes, you have free will. Okay, let's move. Let the let the listeners decide. <laughs> um, not that we're can we have the core reporter care. read can, all Cam, of that back? Cam and Dave Millsap and uh, I'm a bot 326. Can you please weigh in next Oh my week? God. <laughs>